What's up YouTube, Zachary Michaels here. I'm an actor and this is An Actor Reacts. Today we'll be reacting to Jordan Sparks' new Christmas album, Cider in Hennessy. Let's get into it. Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. Cider in Hennessy by Jordan Sparks was released on November 26, 2020. This is her fourth studio album and her first full Christmas project, consisting of eight original Christmas songs and two holiday covers. The first single from the project was a duet with Matt Boyd, a cover of the Faith Hill song, A Baby Changes Everything, on November 13, 2020. The album's title track, Saturn Hennessy, is the next intended single from the project, and a verse challenge has launched for artists to be featured on the single. Jordan wrote on almost every song and describes the album as not your typical holiday music. It's a little bit classy and a little bit lit, just like her. Okay, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Another new release from her this year. Like like I've said, my other reactions from her this year, she's just she's just letting everything out this year. Like she's not playing. She came back and just release, release, release. And I love that for her. Um, and I'm super excited that she has a Christmas album finally. Like she's released a couple Christmas songs throughout the year. And she's mentioned like wanting to have a full Christmas project at some point. And now it's finally here. Um, like I love Christmas time to me from her. And she did a cover of the Christmas song like years ago on Facebook. I want to say like 2010, 2011, and I love that video. I haven't watched it in a while, but I used to watch it like every year, and that's one of my favorite covers of that song. Uh, but anyway, let's get into Cider and Hennessy. Jingle bells in the background. Merry Christmas to your face. I, I think a really good opener. Um, I like the 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 the, the vibe of it. it. Gives me real like kind of the beginning when the instrumental first started before like the bass kicked in I was like oh this feels kind of churchy gospely and then with the bass I was like okay now it's feeling real like funky so I love like the the funk kind of feel of it and honestly it already feels like a like it doesn't feel like an original Christmas song in the best way possible like it feels like a classic Christmas song and maybe it will be in the future but I, I really love the vibe of it um, and I like the kind of, I want to wish you Merry Christmas to your face, uh, which, you know, a lot of people might not be able to do this year because, you know, quarantine again, uh, but maybe through FaceTime you can, uh, but just really fun record, nice little 
bop to it, kind of a mid-tempo, but got a nice little knock to it. And I love the funk vibe of it. And again, it just has that kind of classic, classic contemporary like R&B Christmas song feel. Really good one. So let's go on to track two. Okay, this one feels like the classy. Like a 50 doo wop vibe. Backgrounds too. It might be super early to say, but I feel like this one might end up being one of my favorites. Um, really, really good track. It started off kind of felt like that kind of classical type Christmas music, and that's what the instrumental was giving me, but then it switched up into like the do, 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 and it felt very, very like 50s doo wop, and I love that. Like she rode the beat so well. This song actually kind of gives me. Um, Mariah vibes like I could see Mariah singing this song easily which is a good thing if you tap into the Mariah Christmas kind of song because you know Mariah Queen of Christmas but um really really like this one and I really love the vocals too I've said it in every single video I think but Jordan is an underrated vocalist and I loved her voice on this she again rolled that beat so well and the and stuff that she was doing just so good all the runs and everything the, I just really love this one and the backgrounds on it it just I, I, I see it and I see like a 50s 60s kind of music video for this with her, like the on the stage with the old mic and the step in touch you know I definitely I really like this one and speaking of vocals I didn't mention it but Merry Christmas to your face too I love the vocals on that one too and I felt like on that song she really um she used her voice in a couple different ways that I had maybe hadn't heard before, haven't heard that often. So I really like that. And I'm loving just this whole album so far, even though, again, we're only two tracks in. Maybe I'll, I'll hate the other eight, but I doubt it. So let's get into track three, A Baby Changes Everything. I think this one for sure is going to be that more like classical Christmas song vibe. Getting real churchy vibes. Love the strings too. Mm, okay, sir. Mm. 
Their voices sound great together. Love the backgrounds here. Very like euphoric and like ethereal, is that the word? Like Gives it kind of a pop rock kind of vibe too. Is that a whistle note? really beautiful song um i like that one more than i thought i would actually um very very um soft so at least at the beginning very soft and then it builds so i like i love the journey of this song and how it builds up to this like climactic ending with the hallelujahs um and it's more of a, a classical type christian uh christmas song uh, than the other two so far. They were a little more, you know, R&B soul flavored. This one's definitely more like, uh, I could see them singing this in a church. Um, but really, really beautiful. Great vocals from both. I was impressed with uh, Matt. I'm not familiar with him, but he was killing the vocals and I loved his little runs and stuff. And I thought their voices uh, blended together really well and complemented each other. And then Miss Jordan, of course, sang it again. I'm pretty sure I heard a whistle note in there from her. Okay. Developing your artistry. Uh, really, really great vocals from her, too. And she has also a lot of different colors to her voice. Because her, her vocals on this song sound different than they do on the other ones, which are a little bit more fun and a little bit more, um, like, soul-inspired. This one it's it's a different kind of vocal, a little more again like uh, Catholic churchy, uh, if that's a thing. But um, it's a little more in that realm, but still sounds really amazing. And again, I just love her natural tone. A really, really, really beautiful song. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I got on that one. Uh, so let's go on to the next track. This one kind of has a doo-wop vibe too, but a little something else mixed in there too. Hey. I was kind of getting a like Caribbean vibe too at the very beginning. of All I Want For Christmas Is You. And what's that Britney Spears song? My Only Wish This Year. Top of My List. Another fun track. It's got that kind of doo-wop feel of like, it's you. But there's something else in there too. At first I was getting like, uh, like Caribbean vibes, but I don't think it's quite that. There's something though. There's something there that's familiar mixed with the doo-wop. And like that dun 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 dun. Da, na, na. Like it, like I could automatically kind of tap into the like clap pattern of the song. So like the melody, I guess, is kind of familiar. Something about that, or like the beat pattern. I don't know quite what the term is, but like that, 
feels familiar, you know? So there's definitely, or maybe it's just like classic, like Christmas season music all kind of has the same similar like vibe to it. So it's giving me like other Christmas songs that I've heard before, but uh, nonetheless, a really fun song. I love the vibe of it. And it reminds me of like uh, the, the lyrically sentiment of like, uh, all I want for Christmas is you. And um, My Only Wish This Year by Britney Spears, like those kind of Christmas songs, like you're at the top of my list. I want you, I told Santa. So fun song and definitely all these songs really are fitting really well into like the Christmas scheme, but still feeling like fresh and new at the same time. So I'm loving it. Let's get into the next track. like kind of relaxing but it has that bass in there as well I like it gives me kind of like pop folky music too in there part sounds familiar, the, the drums. That's like a classic Jordan that. Love is alive. Um, I think maybe another one of my potential uh, top three tracks. Um, I really love the vibe of it. It was kind of this like chill, kind of laid back, like beach type music, but it was that mixed with like trap. So it was like relaxing, but you could maybe dance to it if you wanted to, you know? I really like the mix of those two things. And this song is the only one so far that hasn't felt uh, like for sure a Christmas song. Like obviously it's a Christmas song because it's on a Christmas album and she says Christmas a bunch in the lyrics. But if she would take those references out, this kind of song could have been released at any time with, with that beat and the, just the whole vibe of it. Like love is alive at any time, you know? A uh, really, really good one. And uh, just, again, a really good vibe. Oh, and I like how the, like, the cool kind of calm part stayed consistent throughout. But then the more, like, trap bassy part would, would like, change up. Because it started with, like, felt like bongos. And then switched into, like, trap drums. And then it felt, like, real percussive at, at one point. And I kind of recognized the, the pattern that it was taking. So I loved how that... Uh, switched up, like dancing to a bunch of different songs while still chilling at the same time, if I'm making sense. Uh, but really cool just journey and vibe of this song, I guess. Uh, but yeah, let's go on to track six, Trap Miss Melody. Okay, starting off different than I expected with that title. Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay, I see what she doing. Next she makes in like those. Hey. Hey. She makes in like the trap with the hey with the um 
kind of more classical Christmas songs. I like it. We used to have to sing this in choir. I thought it was so boring. If we sang this version though, it wouldn't have been as boring. Beyonce here, like that. What's that song? Diva? That part right there did. Butterfly. Hey, hey. Trap Miss Melody. I love that. Um, she took some classic Christmas song, like real, like the classic Joy to the World. I never forgot what the one at the beginning was, but like it was those real like classic Christmas songs, like the one ones that are a little boring and she took them and put a trap beat under them and said let's 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 bop to it you know i love it um really honestly maybe one of my favorites again um i'm really liking this album um she's she's in her christmas bag uh loved the switch up for jingle bells too like she's talking her talk like got my Birkin bag and I need no man to pay it. Make, are you sure I got on my J's, um, a PJ to MIA? Like she was, she was stunting a little bit. I love it. I love the, the trap beat under those classic songs. Really, 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 really fun record. And honestly, really good. Cause you never know how it's going to go when you put a trap beat under something. Cause people just throw trap beats under anything now, but I think it turned out really great. Uh, but yeah, I think that's all I got on Trap Miss Medley. May, again, maybe one of my favorites. So let's go on to track seven, Heart of Snow. Permanent Monday, it reminds me of. It just feels like real classic Jordan, this song. Mm 
Heart of Snow, uh, really beautiful song, something a little more chill, especially after like uh, Trap Miss Medley, you know, she pulled back a little bit and just sang it. I feel like there was less production on that one too. It felt mostly just like a piano and her voice. Maybe there were some other things in there too, but the piano was definitely leading along with her vocals. Um, and I love just the, the song gave me like a classic Jordan Sparks song. Like it made me think of like Permanent Monday or like uh, No Parade, like those type of Jordan songs where it's just more like stripped back pop ballad and she's singing and her voice is really in that uh, vulnerable state. I love that color in her voice where you you kind of feel like she's like pleading for the love or even like it reminds me of like Halftime off of uh, the EP that just came out, Sounds Like Me. Um, but really, really beautiful song. I don't think it's going to be one of my favorites because uh, there's some really good songs in this. But it's still a really beautiful track. Probably up there with like a baby changes everything when it comes into like the beauty and the simplicity of the song. But yeah, Heart of Snow. Classic kind of Jordan Sparks vibe on that one. So let's go on to the next track, Cider and Hennessy. Oh, okay, that's interesting. A bass? Love that pluckiness. Cider and Henny, baby. Yeah, we vibing. Cider and Henny, baby. It's Christmas time, yeah. Cider and Henny, baby. Hey! It's Christmas time, yeah. Cider and Henny, baby. Got a soda. Shout out to whoever featured here. Cider and Henny, baby. It's Christmas time, yeah. Cider and Henny, baby. It's Christmas time, yeah. Hey. Cider and Henny, baby. Got a soda. Cider and Henny, baby. Cider and Henny, baby. Oh, I love that. Cider and Hennessy. Oh, I love that. And shout out to the dude, uh, Kenneth Page. I had to look up what his name was because he definitely deserved some credit for that. I liked his, like, Cider and Hennessy, baby. Like, uh, really, really, uh, I feel like I've been saying fun for every up-tempo, but it's just really fun. It kind of gets you in that mood. I love the, love the beat on that one. Love that dude's voice. Love Jordan's, like, kind of flow on a verse like got my mind Nelly's with like just really that one's like a uh real like smooth I like that maybe I should try to do a verse for the little verse challenge try to get you know get on a song let me stop playing that that'd be a mess but uh I really enjoyed that and I'm looking forward to hearing uh like people do verses to it and seeing which one she picks for the single or in i hope that one gets like a video or something that's gonna have to be soon now because it's december 4th so she would have to do all that within the month the challenge and making a single so it probably won't get a music video that sucks but really really good song like i love that beat and that's a great mix of like the christmas and the trap that she's going for um yeah, I think that's all I got on it. I wish, I do wish it was longer. Maybe she, I know she's going to have somebody else do a verse, but I wish we could have got another one from her. That was really good. And again, shout out to uh, Kenneth Page. Like, I really like that one. Um, I guess another contender for my top three. Uh, so yeah, I think that's all I got on it for now, though. I'm excited to hear the single version. So let's go on to the next track. Back into that kind of cla more not classical, but like this feels familiar. I like the staccato delivery though. It's 
Because it feels real familiar. I was born near Christmas, so it's my favorite. I think it runs through my veins. I hear the drum, the boy, drum, the drum, the drum, the drum, the I hear the reindeer come, 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 then now. I hear the twinkle, the drum, the drum, the la 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 Oh, it's Christmas. Now, this one was interesting for me because when it first started, I was like, eh, this feels like super like generic kind of familiar Christmas song. But as it went on, I really liked it more and more. I especially really love that end piece where she was just kind of chatting like, I love Christmas. It runs through my blood. And then like the the like little like Tweety Bird and stuff and them going back. Like, so I really love, love that end like breakdown section. Um, and then I love to the uh, like staccato delivery at some parts throughout the song. Oh, and shout out to the the main vocals too, because she's been killing it vocally throughout this album. But shout out through to the uh, background vocals as well, because that on every song the backgrounds have been so great, and I love a good background vocal. And this one as well as the rest of the ones throughout, really, really great background vocals, like really interesting and they really catch my ear and I'm like, ooh, that's like a nice addition and it really makes the song feel more full. So shout out to her background vocals. I'm pretty sure most of that is her, but if there's other people in the backgrounds too, shout out to y'all. Uh, and I wonder too if this song sampled a Christmas song maybe, or maybe it just like, you know, Christmas song sounds similar, uh, but it definitely gave me a vibe of something that I've heard before. Um, definitely felt super familiar. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got on Oh It's Christmas. Now let's go on to the last track of this album. Mm -hmm. One More Sleep, DJ's oh, Lullaby. DJ. Aw. Turn off the light, let's say goodnight. Mm. Come out from under the tree. Imagine Jordan singing to you as your mom. You know what? Rest your head and hold on tight. Mama's gonna wake you. Come sunlight. Mm. And when you see what's down the stairs, race you up the stairs, then brush out your hair. Find your favorite book to read. Mm. Look how they shine. That was 
so sweet. Uh, I think that's for sure my favorite ballad on the album. Um, I think a big part of it has to do with like the sentiment of it that, you know, Jordan is a mom now. She has a son. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure that's like such a bright light in her life. And this song, I feel like really encapsulates that really well especially like paired with like the the theme of Christmas which she loves so it just feels like such pure energy and I love it love the vocals on that um, another more stripped back song mostly piano but I love when those chimes are coming in the backgrounds and there was like those uh like the I feel like it was the pre-chorus maybe where there was like a lot of there was like a lot going on and it was just, it was really beautiful. I, I love that song. And then I love like DJ coming in at the end for the Merry Christmas, just really, really sweet one all around. Uh, just that beautiful, um, that like touched me, really, really great song. Uh, but yeah, that is the final track on this album, Jordan's first Christmas project. Uh, so let's get into my final thoughts and I'll let you know my favorite tracks and my rating for this album. Things that Miss Jordan Sparks did? That, like that was a really, really, really good album. And I saw in her in an interview earlier today say that like, you know, Mariah is a queen of Christmas, facts, but she at least wants to be like looked at as a princess of Christmas. And I think this album is a really good like showing of that like I was I was impressed I'm not gonna lie to you I went into it like mm, I don't know how this is gonna be like uh classy mixed with lit like how is this gonna work but I thought she pulled it off really well and made like one of the best Christmas albums that I can remember as of late honestly um uh vocally she's always killing it I'll say it and I'll say it again underrated vocalist like the lead vocals the backgrounds the harmonies she can apparently do whistle notes and stuff now maybe she could always and just didn't do it before but like her voice continues to develop and grow and 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 deepen and the range is like her voice is continually getting better and she continually does not get the credit that she deserves for it but anyway uh as for the songs like I thought that the mix was well. I thought it was enough ballads, enough mid tempos, enough up tempos, and all the like trap things that I was like, mm, I don't know how that's gonna be. I thought they came off really honest and authentic. Like they didn't feel like, oh, this is oh, this a little like you know what I mean. Like sometimes when artists do like uh like pop trap, it's like uh, this I could have done without this. But I thought they all worked really well. Um, and especially like Trap Miss Medley taking, like that's like the perfect mix of this, taking those classic Christmas songs and mixing them with trap beats. That could have been cringe as hell, but it wasn't. I thought it worked really well and it was just fun and funny and had that nice little trap beat and her changing up some of the lyrics to kind of fit a more modern day Christmas. Really, really cool and uh, just really enjoyable. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I think that was her most cohesive album for sure. Um, no song fell out of place, even when like the tempo changed and the style changed, like they it all just flowed together really well. Um, and like now a few songs did feel a little generic, like, oh, I've, I've kind of heard this before. Like this is the classic kind of pop Christmas record. But those were, it was maybe two songs out of the 10 uh the but this album as a whole just really really solid and i feel like i want to say maybe her best or one of her best at least but it's also like oh it's a christmas album so do i rate it with her other albums so it, it's kind of hard because it is christmas but honestly some of these songs i would want to listen to if it wasn't even christmas time and i feel like that's just that's a record of like good music when it, maybe this is a christmas song but i could listen to it whenever you know like, that's a mark of a really just good song. But, yeah, I think that's all I got on for my, like, final thoughts. Really, really good Christmas album. I thought she mixed kind of the the trap litness with the classic Christmas. Uh, mixed those together well. And then it just had some more pulled back standard songs. A really, really great balanced album. Her most cohesive and honestly maybe one of her best. Uh, 
now let's get into my favorite tracks. It was actually really hard to like narrow down which ones were my favorites because again, most of this album was really good. Uh, so I ended up with five of them. My two honorable mentions are uh, Trap Miss Medley, again, that mix of those songs, and then Love Is Alive, like two really great songs and could have been in my top three, may end up being in my final top three once I listen to the album a few, a few more times, but for now, they're just in my honorable mentions. So let's get into my actual top three. Coming in at number three, Cider and Hennessy. I really, really enjoyed this one. And I, I couldn't put it at the top just because it's so short. I'll wait until the single version once I have that version and I can feel it with the rest of the album because the album version is only a minute and 53 seconds, but it's just so good. That's one that I could listen to any time of the year. It feels a little weird because it's about Christmas, but I wish like she had taken the DNA of that song and just released it as a regular single without it like taking the Christmas stuff out because that it feels like such a hit like uh, that's one with the trap beats and it just feels so authentic and I love that uh what's his name Kenneth Page let me make sure give this man his credit yeah Kenneth Page I loved his little like uh side and hit like I loved his little addition to the song like it was simple but it it it, it had me going it was real good I'm in love, the strings in it and the pluckiness, like it started off with that bass line and then the trap drums came in. Just real, really good song. Um, coming in at number two, I got It's You. Um, another one where she killed in on the vocals and I love that kind of classic doo-wop vibe of it. And uh, really all, all my top three, I feel like I could listen to them any time of the year. It's just a fun song. This one kind of reminds me of Tattooed Heart by Ariana Grande, that kind of uh, throwback doo-wop vibe, but still feels current and, and fun. And I just, I really love it. Uh, and then coming in at number one is One More Sleep, aka DJ's Lullaby. Um, and I put this one at number one because it felt like, it felt to me like, Christmas, you know, it's that pure love and that pure joy that you get at Christmas time. And I love how sweet that song is. She's singing to her son. Now imagine your mom being Jordan Sparks and singing something like this to you before you go to bed on Christmas day. It just like, it, it, it filled me up with such joy and pureness that I, I had to put it at number one. Cause it's just too beautiful. You know, I loved, um, you, you just you just feel it. And I think about how great his life, just like she says in the song, like when you get older, the material things won't matter, but you'll think back on these memories. And that's just so true. Like that's what Christmas is about, the, the love and the memories that we get to build with people. And like he'll get to look back on his life and think about this song and think about all the amazing things that his mom has done for him and his dad and just that that love that they have from him so that song is my number one because it just feels like that pure christmas love uh just really really beautiful uh I, I can't say it enough uh but yeah that that's my top three and my honorable mentions this album again really 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 solid uh so now let's get into my rating i ended up giving Cider and Hennessy, the album, a 9 out of 10. Um, and it may go up. I picked a 9 out of 10 now for all the stuff that I was saying. Like, it feels her most cohesive, really good songs. But there are a few generic ones in there that felt like, oh, I maybe could have done without this. Or just something to freshen it up so it doesn't feel so like, uh, yeah, I've heard this song before by other artists for Christmas. But luckily, most of the album does not fall into that trap. And it's really kind of innovative and fun and just Jordan having fun on Christmas and showing her love for the season, which like she said at the end of that one song, like it's in her blood. Like you see how the, the way her eyes light up when it's Christmas time. A really great album. And I'm just glad that Jordan is in the space now where she can release music and do the things that she wants to do. Cause like I said at the beginning, she's been wanting to release a Christmas album for a while now. And the moment is finally here on her terms and it turned out real, real good. Uh, yeah, but that's all I got on Cider and Hennessy, the album. 
Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this project. Let me know what your favorite songs are because there's some real good ones. Let me know what you rate the project. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for stopping by. See y'all next time.